eventually you're going to get to the end of your knitting project and you're going to need to bind off all these live stitches that you have left on your left hand needle. Just like casting on, there are lots of methods of binding off, but I'm going to show you just a basic knitting bind off. And a lot of times you want to make sure that your bind off is really loose, otherwise it's going to pucker in your knitting. So sometimes what people will do is use a needle size that's one size larger to do the bind off with and that makes sure that you keep your knitting bind off nice and loose. So what you're going to do to start is knit your first two stitches just like you normally would. And then once you have two stitches you're going to go into that first stitch and pull it over your second stitch. So then you have one bound off stitch. Knit the next stitch and go into that first stitch again and pull it over the second stitch. Now you have two bound off stitches. Knit the next one and I'm working with cotton so it's not as easy to get in and out of as a wool blend but I think it shows the stitches a little easier for you. So you just keep knitting the next stitch and pulling that first stitch over. And you'll just keep doing that all the way across your row until you have all your stitches bound off. And that's what it'll look like. 